Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. In last lecture, we talked about conditional probability. Okay, so I gave you a motivation on why one should study conditional probability. I also also showed you one video, so I hope you like that. So in continuation with conditional probability, next concept comes that is the concept of independent events. Okay, so if you recall, what do you, what was the concept of conditional probability? So suppose if you have two events A and B. Okay, then question is what is probability of B given that event A has already been occurred. So if you have such a scenario, then this is nothing but it is given by probability of the intersection of A and B upon probability of A. This is what we have seen in the last class. Now it may happen that if you try to find the probability of B, this will come as same as probability of B given that the event A has already been occurred. When such a thing happens, we say that A and B are independent events. That means what? Occurrence of the event A is not affecting the probability of B. Okay. So when these two things are same, we say that A and B are independent events. Now just a word of caution, don't get confused with the mutually exclusive events. Mutually exclusive events is with for is like with respect to the sets. So if the A and B, if the intersection is empty, then we say that the two sets are mutually exclusive events. Independent events is related with the probability. If probability of B is not getting affected by occurrence of the event A, then we say that A and B are independent events. Okay. So independent events, probability. Mutually exclusive events, sets. So there's just one difference. Usually students get confused, so I thought of stressing that point. Okay, so this is one definition. Another definition is, so once you bring our probability of A over here, what do you get? You get probability of A intersection B is nothing but probability of A into probability of B. So some authors also give this directly as a definition. Okay, but I mean this is very important formula that you will need a lot of time. But yeah, if someone asks you, then when we say two events are independent, don't just simply tell this because this does not show whether your concept is clear or not. Okay, so you should always say that if the probability of B is not depending on the occurrence of the event A, then we say that A and B are independent events. Okay, so yeah, this is the formula. Now, once we have this, uh, so what we showed here, probability of B given A is same as probability of B. If this is happening, then other way is also true. What is the other way? Other way as in, if this is true, then probability of A given B is equal to probability of A. That means probability of A is also not depending on the occurrence of the event B. Okay? And if I want to prove this, how will I prove this? So what is probability of A given B? By formula, it is probability of A intersection B upon probability of B. But what do we have? That A and B are independent. That means what? Probability of B is not depending on the occurrence of event A. That's why we are assuming. So therefore, this is nothing but probability of A into probability of B divided by probability of B. So, this gets cancelled. We have the equality. Okay? So if you have one Scenario that means probability of B given A is equal to probability of B, then you have the other scenario as well. That means this scenario and the vice versa. Okay, so that's about the independent events. Uh, now, okay, uh, let me take two three examples so that your concept will be more clear. Okay, so here is the first example. Uh, suppose Nachiket and Ashutosh are appearing for the, their probability exam. Okay. Uh, now, who are these people? Uh, well, usually I write my name, but this time I thought since it's a probability course, so let me choose two random names from the comment section. I just went to my channel in the comment section. I just picked, I just took two names randomly. Okay. So in the next lecture, I'll take two other names. I hope these two students of mine will won't mind it. Okay. So now they are appearing for probability exam, and uh, so suppose they are friends and they will decide. Okay, you prepare this much of the topic. You prepare. I will prepare this much of the topic. We will copy will get pass okay but i am the image later so i thought that okay i think something is fishy 
title na chike do na chike you sit on the first bench or you sit you sit on the last bench so now there are no chances of being that they will copy and obviously they don't have cheat because i have checked it okay so that's one thing okay and now suppose probability uh, let us so, so let n and a be the two events n is the event that nachiket will pass the exam and a be the event that ashutosh will pass the exam okay now suppose probability of nachiket passing the exam is uh, uh, 5 by 7 and suppose probability of ashutosh passing the exam is uh, uh, say 3 by 7 nothing special about this number just randomly okay now my first question what is the probability that nachiket will pass the exam but ashutosh will not pass the exam okay what is the probability that nachiket will pass the exam but ashutosh will not pass the exam that means what i want to find probability of n intersection a complement probability that nachiket should pass and ashutosh should not pass okay now see now these are independent events because they are not their passing is not depending on each other because their plan got failed right so what is this this is equal to probability of a into probability of a complement okay so i should prove this right what i said so actually the very simple fact if a and b are independent events then a complement and b complement are also independent events a and b complement are also independent a complement and b are also independent okay so okay let me finish this example then i will prove one of the case for you and other i will give you as a homework okay so this is what i want to find what is probability of n passing the exam 5 by 7 what is a complement 1 minus p of a so 1 minus 3 by 7 is 4 by 7 so probability that nachiket will pass the exam but ashutosh will fail the exam is 20 by 49 Okay. Similarly, one can ask, what is the probability that only Ashutosh will pass the exam? Then, this is what you are supposed to do: probability of n complement into probability of a. That you can do. Okay. Uh, let me ask third question. Find the probability that at least one of them will pass. At least one of them will pass means what? Probability of n union a. At least one of them will pass, right? And we know the formula for this. This is probability of n plus probability of a minus probability of n intersection a. What is this? Five by seven plus three by seven minus n and a are independent events. So this is probability of n into probability of a. And this is five by seven, three by seven minus what is p of n? Five by seven into three by seven. So the first. Homework for you people is tell me the answer for the second and the third part. That means probability that uh, Nachiket will not pass, but Ashutosh will pass the exam, and the probability that at least one of them will pass the exam. Okay, at least I expect these two people to post the answer. Okay, so yeah, so this is one problem. So now let me prove that fact that if A and B are independent events, then their complements also behave in the same way. Their complements also behave in the same way okay so what is probability of a complement intersection b complement this is nothing but probability of by de morgan's law a union b complement this is 1 minus probability of a union b this is 1 minus what is this probability of a minus probability of b plus probability of a intersection b but a and b are what independent events so this is probability of a into probability of b so this is nothing but you can take out common so you have these three terms and the fourth term so this is 1 minus p of a into 1 minus p of b this is nothing but probability of a complement into probability of b complement so if a and b are independent then a complement and b complement are also independent event usually they are asking Competitive exam, such kind of question. Okay, and uh, let me give you the hint for the part that we have used in the earlier example. Okay, so if A and B are independent, I want to prove that A and B complement are also independent. Okay, now that means I want to prove this is equal to P of A into P of B complement. Let's try to draw the Venn diagram. 
तो दिस इज माई ए सेट दिस इज माई बी सेट नी ए इंटरसेक्शन बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट ए इज इंटरसेक्शन विद बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट इज दिस सेट सो वॉट आई डू इज यू राइट अ एस दिस एंड दिस विच इज नथिंग बट ए इंटरसेक्शन बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट यूनियन वॉट इज दिस पार्ट ए इंटरसेक्शन बी नाइक प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑन बोथ साइड सो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए इज प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट दे आर म्यूचुअल एक्सक्लूसिव इवेंट्स दे आर डिसंट सो दिस नथिंग बट प्रोबेबिलिटी गेट्स एडेड बट वॉट इज दिस प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए इन टू प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ बी टेक इट ओवर हियर प्रोबेबिलिटी टेक ऑट प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए एस कॉमन इवेंट आंसर सिमिलरली ट्राई टू प्रूव फॉर ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट इंटरसेक्शन बी इफ यू गेट स्टक यू कैन आस्क यूर डाउट and if you get the answer post anything you like okay so this was the first example along with this good properties okay now let me take one simpler example uh, actually see mutually exclusive events and independent events they are not connected okay so suppose experiment your random experiment is your tossing a single sphere die so what are the possibilities either one or two or three or four or five or six That is my sample space. Okay. Let my A be the event. Let me say four. And let B be the event. And two, four, and six. Are they mutually exclusive? No, because their intersection is non-empty. What is probability of A? It is nothing but one by six, because the outcome is outcomes has six elements. What is probability of B? Three by six. It's a fair die. Okay. So it is nothing but three by six, which is one by two. What is A intersection B? A intersection B is only single term four. So what is the probability? It is again one by six. Is probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A into probability of B? Answer is no, because this is nothing but one by six. This is not equal to one by six into one by two. So for this experiment, the sets are not mutually exclusive, and the events are also not. Independent events. Okay. Suppose if I remove four from here, are they mutually exclusive? Yes, because the intersection is empty. Are they independent? No, because a intersection becomes empty when the probability of a intersection b will be zero, whereas these two things are non-zero. So for this it will be one by six. For this it will be two by six. So one by three. So ultimately, yeah, this is zero. This is non-zero. So there is no connection. Okay, and this is very simple example that one should keep in mind. Okay, you can again play with this to get which is mutually exclusive but not independent, independent but not ex exclusive. Just play with all these four combinations. Okay, or you can just pause the video and think in your mind, depending upon your own convenience. Okay, now let's go for the last example and uh, let's take the last example on COVID. Okay, so we have passed through this pandemic, so COVID ke upar ek example banta hai. Okay, and that's what you can expect in your exams as well because that's what the trend I have seen. is a probability course put a question on covid ai course put a uh, problem on covid machine learning data science put a problem on covid okay so suppose uh, so if i want to test whether i have a covid or not what will i do i will take the rt pcr test so there is a diagnostic i will go to the diagnostic center oh, is now offer you home delivery so like they will come home they will take the sample okay so no need to go to the Diagnostic center. So I will take this RT PCR test. Okay. So now suppose if I want to go to say Iceland, okay, Iceland, whatever. I know I won't, don't know when I will be able to go, but no harm in assuming. Okay. So suppose I want to go to Iceland tomorrow. So nowadays for international travel, they want RT PCR report to be within 24 hours, right? So what I will do, I will give my results to two labs. Okay. So that I will get the faster results. Okay, now when you give your sample, what do the test do? Do they actually test for the disease? Like how do they check? They see like whether some chemical or biological product is there. I mean, some combination is there, or how the cells are behaving. Based on that, you conclude whether you have a COVID or you don't have a COVID. Okay, so based on that, there is something called as the term sensitivity. Okay, so what do you mean by sensitivity? That means the probability. that a person is having a covid disease and the test is also showing that he has a covid 
okay so higher the higher the probability means higher the sensitivity rate and lower is the false positive rate okay so suppose for rt pcr the sensitivity rate is suppose let's take 93% 93% is the sensitivity rate okay that means you have a you have covid positive and the test will also show that it is covid positive and that success rate is 93% now suppose i have covid positive and i don't know but i am feeling those symptoms so i have called those two people from two different labs so one will come at 10 one will come at 12 or 1 so and they will check at their independent laboratory their apparatus are different and everything is different okay so this is an independent so what i'm planning is that what i'm doing is i'm giving you this scenario to assume that the test the events are independent okay so that if the event that the test by the say lab 1 is positive and b is the event that the test by lab 2 is also positive okay so the reports are positive so that those are my events a and b what is the probability that both the test results will be positive okay so that means what i want to find i want to find probability of a intersection b but they are independent events so this probability of a into probability of b what is the sensitivity rate or the probability rate 93 percent so 0 0.93 into 0 0.93 so whatever the answer comes so this is the probability that both the lab will give me the positive result and okay so which is very high so i know that my dream of going to ireland will fail but okay so that is one thing so one can also modify the question what is the probability that at least one of the lab will give me the positive report okay in that case what i want to do i want to find probability of a union b which is probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a intersection b but again a and b are independent events so a intersection b is nothing but i mean probability of a intersection b is nothing but the product you put up the value you get the answer okay so yeah i hope the concept of independent events are clear if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section if you don't have any doubts then yes do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you